Welcome back to the Contractor's Compass YouTube channel. Today we're doing something a little bit different. We are taking a look at my mobile mechanics toolbox. This toolbox is built off of a Pelican 1510 case, which is approximately the size of a carry-on. So the 1510 case has this handle and it has wheels so it can roll back and forth. It also has a handle there, handle there, and a handle on the bottom. So it's a super versatile case and really easy to travel with. Uh, it's, it weighs about 35 pounds with all the tools inside it. So it's not too bad overall. One thing about this case is that the wheels are very small as you can see. So it's not great for off-roading. So if it's rough, I usually carry it with me instead of using the wheels. So these Pelican cases are completely waterproof, which is really nice. And as you can see, I've added Kaizen foam, which is this foam right here that the tools are sitting in and a case top organizer to help with the organization of this case. Yeah. As I go along today, I'm going to keep a running tally of the approximate cost of everything. So you'll see that in the bottom left hand corner of the screen. So starting with the top of the case. So this is my lid organizer. This is where I keep a lot of the small things that I just might need to have. Um, so it's a bunch of little stuff. I'll break it down for you here. So this is the contents of the top left pouch. Um, it has a baby little hammer from Harbor Freight, a set of the like dollar ninety nine Harbor Freight pick set, and then a set of punches also from Harbor Freight. So here's the contents from the bottom left pouch in the lid. We have a little Harbor Freight light, a set of quarter inch hex to three eighths, quarter inch, and half socket adapters for a little drill if I decide to bring a drill with me. Then we have a magnetic pickup tool and a set of feeler gauges. So this is the contents of the middle top pouch. So in this pouch I have a bunch of electrical connectors on the left there as well as some fuses and stuff. In the middle I have a bag full of like hose clamps, little cotter pins, little hitch pins, and that type of stuff. And then I have a bag of gloves on the right. That's both a pair of like work gloves and several pairs of nitrile gloves. So this is the contents of the bottom of the middle section. And I basically have some plastic razor blades and some metal razor blades, some ultra black gasket maker, a little bit of red and blue Loctite. Just I find them super handy to keep those things around. On the right hand side, I just have a whole mess of zip ties just because you can never have enough zip ties. So the Kaizen foam set that I opted for has two thick layers and then one thin layer that goes on the bottom. In the top layer I have my ratchets and sockets set along with some extensions. In the middle layer I have my all my pliers and then my screwdrivers and an allen key set. And in the bottom layer I have my wrench set. So we'll go through these layers one at a time. So here's the top layer of my mobile toolbox. I have two socket rails here. One socket rail has um, 3 8 sockets in both short and deep. And the uh, short ones are 12 point sockets and the deep are 6 point sockets. I like these socket sets because they're cheap and Harbor Freight replaces them for life if you break any of them. They're also colorful so they're easy to find in the dirt when you inevitably drop them. These sockets are an Ulsa Tool um, socket rails which are really nice. They're made out of um, anodized aluminum. So then I also have the same short and deep sockets for quarter inch with the shorts again being 12 points and the deep being 6 points. I also have two common sizes of spark plug socket. In terms of extensions, I have three extensions for quarter inch and three extensions for three eighths. Uh, these extensions are the wobble socket extensions from Harbor Freight. So they're nice to give you a little bit of angle if you need to get around something. Then for my three quarter inch ratchet, I have a Harbor Freight Pittsburgh with a comfort grip and the swivel head. And then for the quarter inch ratchet, I have the Harbor Freight 
just straight ratchet. For the second layer, I have a whole bunch of Nipex tool pliers. So first off, I have the wrench plier from Nipex, which is really nice. It has smooth jaws, so it doesn't mar stuff up. And it's basically an adjustable wrench with a lot of leverage. Then I also have their um, Cobra pliers. These are nice, they're basically channel locks. They have infinite adjustability with this button here. Then I have their high leverage diagonal cutters. These things cut through basically anything. One of my favorite tools. Then I have just a straight pair of regular pliers. I guess they're kind of lineman style pliers. I don't know, I find them as just a good general plier. They have a cutter in there and also um, just some great little teeth right there. Then finally for pliers, I have the Nipex needle nose pliers. Great for getting into tight little spaces. Again, a great plier overall. Finally, I have the Irwin auto strippers. Um, these are great for stripping wire. Uh, they also have little um, crimpers in here and a little cutter, so it's kind of an all-in-one tool. The crimps don't work great, but they'll do in a pinch if you really need it. All right, then I have the Mega Pro screwdriver. This is a great screwdriver. It's ratcheting, and then also it's magnetic, which is great, and it has bit storage in the handle. Then I have this little Weeha stubby magnetic screwdriver, which can take the same bits as the Mega Pro. Then finally, I have a set of Weera metric hex wrenches. Most of the stuff in here is metric because that's really mainly what I work on. So I don't have a whole lot of need for standard tools. Then finally, on my bottom layer, I have a set of the gear wrench um, box end wrenches with the ratchet. It's a 70 tooth ratchet mechanism, which is pretty nice. And these are just my everyday go-to wrenches. Thank you for watching my little toolbox tour. Um, it's a small one, but it gets most of my jobs done pretty quickly. Uh, the total for the cost of everything will be in the bottom left-hand corner. I'd love to hear what you guys think of my little toolbox down in the comments. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments as well. I'll see you guys soon. Have a good week. Bye.